In this G82 series form, the BMW M4 competition is probably the last combustion engine BMW M model of its kind, so it better be good. This second generation M4, now offered in both coupe and convertible forms, is quicker, cleverer and meaner looking than its predecessor, plus it ushers in a fresh era of drive assist and safety tech. Most importantly perhaps, you get the option of all-wheel drive for the first time. It's actually mandatory on the fabric drop-top variant. Plus in all its forms, this car keeps to an enhanced version of the classic straight-six engine configuration. One thing's guaranteed, a proper driving experience. All the key numbers stack up here. There's 510 horsepower from the latest S58 version of BMW's classic straight six three litre power plant and 650 newton meters of thrust. And that's enough to simply hurl you up the road in almost any gear. For the first time, M4 customers compare this car's engine to four-wheel drive via an X-Drive system that you can also customize for rear-driven feel if you want it. Ordinary rear-driven variants also continue on in the range. That's actually what we've chosen to test here. Uh, for our market, uh, there's no manual gearbox option anymore, and BMW has swapped out the previous model's double-clutch DCT auto transmission for a more conventional ZF8 speeder. Uh, if you're quick with the uh, provided paddle shifters here, though, 62 from rest will be dispatched in 3.9 seconds or just 3.5 seconds in an X-Drive model. And that's on the way to a top speed that'll be raised to 180 mph if you pay the extra for the optional M Pro package. All of that's accompanied by a glorious roar from the active sports exhaust. And the soundtrack is uh, one of the things that you can alter either via this center console setup button or the center stack displays selectable M menu. Either way, you get a screen which allows you to tailor your preferred drive settings and to store them, uh, your two most favored ones, uh, behind these little red M1 and N2 buttons on the steering wheel. Uh, one perhaps for your commuting and the other may be for your favorite back road. Now you can alter uh, the parameters also for engine, transmission and steering, plus there are three chassis options too for the suppleness of the adaptive M suspension with its electronically controlled damping. Uh, and there are also two pedal feel settings for the freshly developed M compound brakes. Plus there's this center console M mode button which offers road, sport and track settings, each of which changes the instrument display and the level of drive assistance system intervention. Braver folk can use the M menu to deactivate the DSE traction system and play with the track orientated M drift analyzer. Uh, BMW standard M drive professional package also includes an M lap timer, plus the brand has also redesigned the cooling and the oil supply systems specifically for circuit use. Whether all this is enough to create in this G82 series model the ideal car for track heroes is another question of course, probably not. Uh, the second generation designs 170 kilos of extra weight, uh, ultimately tell against it in extremis. And it doesn't help either uh, with the efficiency, that's rated at 27.7 mpg and 234 grams per kilometer of CO2 for this rear driven version. But what's not in doubt is that it's a far better road ready tool than its predecessor and any previous M3 come to that. Uh, the things that were always good about this car, the low center of gravity, the perfect 50-50 weight distribution, they're now enhanced by a longer wheelbase, a wider track, stiffer body, a more engaging engine, and a whole stack of extra technology. So the car handles bumps and undulations better at speed, and that gives you more confidence to throw it into corners, all of which has made this more capable M4 more involving yet at the same time somehow less intimidating. It's really quite an achievement and it is really quite a car. Whatever you think about its divisive new look, there's no doubt that this G82 series M4 has the degree of overtaking presence that its F82 series predecessor somehow lacked, especially if you order it in a brighter shade like this vibrant Sao Paulo yellow. And when you're spending this kind of money on a sports coupe of this caliber, that kind of statement really matters. 
As with that previous model, this car shares just about everything with its M3 competition showroom stablemate. It's even the same length as that saloon with the same 2,857mm wheelbase. Although it's 16mm narrower, it sits 40 mils lower, and in this coupe form, it's a nominal 5 kilos lighter. There is a convertible M4 variant as an alternative to this fixed top version, but with that, you'd have to do without one of this car's signature styling features. It's classy carbon fiber reinforced plastic roof with its two lengthwise rails that optimize airflow. Other distinctive design touches are plentiful. These traditional M gills in the side panels, for example, and these M specific door mirrors with their aerodynamically optimized contouring. Now these are offered either in high gloss black or as in this case in carbon fiber. Uh, one of the most uh, striking profile features though is this extended lower side sill, which uh, together with the attachment parts for the front and the rear aprons form as a high gloss black band around the whole of the car. At the front, the contoured bonnet has indentations flanking its central crease, and that flows down into that controversial vertical upright kidney grille, either side of which lie additional cooling intakes, which is here, can also be trimmed in carbon fiber. At the rear, darkened full LED light clusters with L-shaped tail lamps emphasize the 17 millimeter width increase over the previous model and sit below a neat rear spoiler with a distinctive central notch. Right, let's take a seat inside. Now, what you don't want here is the feeling that you've just bought an M Sport trimmed four series model with ideas above its station. And that is not what you get here, although a bit disappointingly, uh, this M4 does do without the motorized belt buckler, which on an ordinary four series coupe hands you your belt buckle as you get in. Perhaps that doesn't go with the whole uh, bespoke motorsport theme going on here though. And it's characterized particularly by these optional race style M carbon bucket seats, which certainly supply the DTM ambiance that some customers might want. Uh, others will find them a touch pretentious, uh, but the cabin architecture surrounding all this tinsel is anything but. It's sensible, ergonomic, high quality, and based around the twin screens of BMW's familiar live cockpit professional setup. Through this thick M leather steering wheel, which has red accented M buttons for your favorite drive settings, you view a 12.3 inch instrument display with M specific detailing, and anything else you need is likely to be located on this 10.25 inch center control display, which can do just about anything that you might want from uh, changing the engine settings to booking airline tickets and hotel rooms. Other bespoke touches include an embossed M stitched drive selector, along with interior trim strips in high gloss carbon fiber and an anthracite colored headliner. The required sense of uh, technology and luxury is provided by configurable LED interior lighting, a 16 speaker Harman Kardon Hi-Fi and a head up display, all of which delivers the required sense of occasion and quality. And it's all just as good as anything you'll find in an M8. Getting into the back isn't the easiest task in the world, but it is aided by these uh, electrically operable front seats which slide obediently forward when you pull on this M Sport colored seat shoulder tab, allowing just enough space to access the rear in reasonable comfort. Once you're inside, you'll find a slightly strange combination of surprisingly decent legroom for a slightly compromised headroom. It's a bit weird sitting behind these carbon shell race seats with their exaggerated cutouts. And lankier folk will notice that to achieve this Mark II model's slinky looks, BMW's lowered the roof line by quite a bit. If you're over six foot, you'll certainly find yourself grazing your scalp on the headlining. Still, assuming they're not sat behind a couple of basketball players, most adults will be fine back here on all but the longest trips, aided by the 41 millimeter increase in wheelbase enjoyed by this G82 era design. Finally, let's take a look in the boot. Uh, this powered trunk lid comes as part of the extra cost comfort package. And once open, it reveals a large but shallow space rated at 440 liters. 
If you need more room, a flexible 40-20-40 split folding rear backrest is provided as standard, accessed via these rather hidden catches in the roof of the trunk area. Although the backrests don't fold completely flat, this does allow longer items like skis to be slid forward into the cabin without disturbing two rear seated folk. There's not actually a lot of commonality between early M3 coupe models and this modern day M4 interpretation of the same street racing formula. The focus has changed from a raw track tamed screamer to something a lot more measured. This still remains the most exciting and involving car of its kind, but crucially, that capability is so much more accessible now, particularly if, as most customers will, you choose this car in X-Drive form. The extra track features, uh, the things like the M Drift Analyzer and the 10 stage M Traction Control System, they probably look like fun inclusions during development of this model, but in the real world, owners will hardly ever have the opportunity to use them. And many, quite frankly, wouldn't have the driving skill to fully engage with them, even if they did. which makes it all the more important that you no longer need the Nordschleifer to probably enjoy what this car can do. On the right day, in the right mood, on the right path of your favorite back road, there'll be times in this M4 when you'll wonder whether any sensible sports car at any price could be more exciting than this one. As we said, when we were testing the G80 Series M3, what's been delivered here is perhaps the ultimate combination of M5 maturity and M2 agility, which leaves us with well, quite simply this, the most complete M4 ever made.